Hey, what's going on everybody? Today's gonna be a little bit of a different video. I'm gonna take you with me on a workout. I got motivated this morning as I was watching Josh Bridges, who's a former CrossFit Games athlete and a former Navy SEAL. He did this workout that had 150, nope, his workout had 50 muscle ups and 150 wall balls, and you could partition it any way you want. And I really loved the motivation. I loved the challenge. I've never really done too many CrossFit workouts. I look like I have a little bit of a CrossFit background, but I really have only been to a CrossFit gym twice. And I've only done a couple other workouts in the gym here, which is a traditional world gym type space. So it's not a good space for it. I'm gonna see if I can find myself a good little spot. I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna see if we can get all of these done. My goal is to complete the workout. If I'm under 15 minutes, I'm gonna be stoked. Sometimes you gotta switch up your workouts. You have to have just a little bit of a challenge just to get you motivated. And when I saw this one today, I thought, man, I gotta get it. So let's go get some. Here we go. I started out with a 14 pound ball. I should have gone heavier, but I totally chickened out. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of background. I got my, I learned how to do these muscle ups a few years ago. I started doing calisthenics. I spent like an entire year or two learning as much about calisthenics as I could. Doing all pull ups, sit ups, all sorts of different push ups and pull ups. And I saw them start doing these muscle ups. And I thought, man, I've got a good enough pull up. I should be able to figure that out. And so I did YouTube video after YouTube video. I followed Chris Heria on YouTube and the Thenx program for a while. And that, he actually had one video called the, the Magic Button, which is what helped me get my muscle ups. So when you see me do my muscle ups, they're probably not CrossFit style. They're probably a little bit different than what you might be used to. And probably they're really bad form. I, I can tell right here when I'm looking my elbows kind of stay at this 90 or this kind of L position instead of all the way extended like they should be. So there's the kind of background story on those muscle ups. Uh, the thing that really helped me get them is learning how to like throw my hips up. And I think as I start to, as I've started to study CrossFit a little bit more, I've learned how to throw those hips a little bit better, but they're still not where they should be. All right, now when I first watched this back with the Frugal Fit Mom, she tore me to bits because these these uh, wall balls, I'm not dipping deep enough in my knees. And so you guys will probably do the same. Like I said, I've not done a lot of CrossFit in my, in my background. That's not like my fitness background at all. I'm just a fan. And so as you see me dip down and not get deep enough in my uh, wall balls, deep enough in my squat for those wall balls, Feel free to kind of coach me through it, but please don't, I'm not saying I'm an expert because I'm really not. Um, it's just, I'm, my legs are weak. I feel like that is the weakest part of my fitness repertoire. <laughs> it's just really terrible. Um, I was really trying to hit that midline to the top half of that target on those wall balls, and I totally didn't do that consistently. So I should have probably been called for some no reps. <laughs> I should have been uh, DQ'd on maybe on, on a couple of them, but anyway, it's just, look, probably where I should start is telling you, my fitness background really was weightlifting for the longest time. I did a lot of weightlifting and powerlifting, and then I went into cheerleading, right? I was a cheerleader in college. And so I have a lot of that strength left over, and, I, and I've done a lot of weightlifting since. Um, and it's just regular, you know, weightlifting that you would see at a typical gym like this where I'm just going to get um, and do my leg days and my biceps and uh, back day, my chest and triceps day. So it wasn't until I switched over to calisthenics that I started learning how to do more hit like workouts and other things. And then when I became a fan of CrossFit, I figured out a little bit more how to kind of string my workouts together and program better. Uh, that being said, I still try to follow apps whenever I can. So I can still follow Fenex and do those from time to time. I really like the Comp Train app from, from Ben Bergeron. So I do his app from time to time. Um, and sometimes I find out what I find other workouts on YouTube. And that, those are the ones that I go with. <laughs> totally missed the target on that one. And I had to kind of reset. I, I just, I look at this back and I, I really stayed good the first uh, round or two, trying to get close to that one minute mark, trying to get every round as close to one or minute, you know, minute, minute and a half as, as possible. 
And then as we got further and further along here, you'll see like my rest periods, I had to fast forward through them here on the video because they were starting to go 30, 45, 50, 55 seconds in between rounds. Um, yeah, I really just don't have that flexibility. I wonder if it's the flexibility in my shoulders. You guys maybe help me out through there. Why can I not fully extend on that back part? Is it because I just don't have the flexibility or what? This kid, he asked me where I was, what I was using, and I said I'm using that target right there, and he still did his pull-ups there. Um, I, I tried to do the best I could, but I was, I was on the clock, man. I had to keep going. He, he kind of got the idea and moved forward a little bit, which helped me out. I was trying to get all of these strung together. So 15 wall balls, I shouldn't have to stop. But yet, there was a couple of these rounds that I really had to. All right, come on. I, as I watch this back every round, in between rounds and I'm fast forwarding it, I keep thinking to myself, start, dude. Like, get going. This is ridiculous the amount of time I waited in between sets just trying to catch my breath. I think it's just that it's such a different style of a workout. Um, my cardiovascular is just not trained to do that much hit, that hard, that fast. And I make the same rookie mistake I made when I first started running. Like I go out of the gate hard and I know that's the wrong strategy, but I get so excited that I'm like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then by like the third or fourth round, I am gassed. Like <laughs> you just see my face. I can't go. Like I just cannot catch my breath. And this <laughs> is the most embarrassing part. I'm sitting on the ball. Who sits on the ball in the middle of a workout? Well, this guy. <laughs> Get up, get up. <laughs> Come on, it's time to go. I'm still not doing it. <laughs> go dude, go. Christine, I gotta tell you about something about the Frugal Fit Mom. She is so much stronger than me in her legs. And it's not that I skip leg day, cause I don't. Like I have strong legs, I think, but I just don't have the endurance in my legs. And you would think that between the cycling that I get to do, um, I do a lot of front squats, I do uh, some snatches from time to time. I don't do a lot of cleans, but like I just can't get a lot of endurance in my legs and I just can't figure out why. This was the first rep, first and only rep on that muscle up that I failed. And this one taught me that when I'm failing like that, I've got to really start to throw my hips harder. And so the secret to this is I started throwing harder and harder with my lower body because it's your lower body that really gets you up and over that bar and that helped me quite a bit to get me through the rest of the next few rounds um but yeah so going back to christine I was, there's just something about her man between the swimming background that she has and other things she can do when we do air squats together like we did the murph workout together a couple years ago and she just busted out like 200 air squats and it didn't even phase her. And I don't get it. Cause I get in there and I'm like 15 reps in and I'm done. Um, like it's not even a close competition. And I gotta figure out how to just build more endurance. And I will say it's something I haven't focused on. I've gotta work on those weaknesses. And I know that that's kind of a, a motto of some of these types of, of CrossFit and other workouts like this. It's just work on your weaknesses. And I'm not doing that good enough in the gym. And this, workout kind of shows that my legs are right Alright. Dude, finally I'm kind of starting to get into a rhythm. <laughs> it took me 13 minutes. Um, I think when I watched the original Josh Bridges workout, he was done in nine. Nine or ten minutes. And I'm 13 minutes in and I'm finally hitting a rhythm. If that doesn't show you the difference kind of between like a, a really fit elite athlete and an average Joe. Um, it's just no contest. It's, I can't remember who it was that said, I wish that during the Olympics they would have like just somebody, like an average Joe running and swimming next to everybody else, just so that we have a benchmark. Because sometimes those elite athletes, Olympians, they make it look so gosh darn easy and it's not. It's anything but easy. It is so much harder than you think. 
you get in here and you're like, I can do that. And then you start doing it, you're like, no, that's not for me. Um, the only thing I was really proud of myself on here is I, I did more of these wall balls unbroken than I thought. I thought as I was going through it, I was like, man, I'm, I'm not able to do 15 in a row consecutively. I felt like almost half of them I broke up. And I think I actually did a little bit more than half. So I'm a little bit proud of myself for that. Um, I have these wrist straps on and they have, it's just like a strap around the wrist and it's rubber on the, on the face that kind of covers your hand. So it's really sticky on the bar and it helps kind of store extra energy to kind of launch you, launch you up and over the bar. They're good, but I will say that rubber felt like it was coming off in my eyes. I think that's all wall ball exercises, but as I was throwing up these wall balls, that rubber was kind of coming down or either that or it was the chalk or something else that was all over that ball. Um, another reason why I just can't stand those wall balls because everything just keeps getting in those eyes. And those peepers are just not happy. I can't hardly breathe. I can't focus. Like it's just, there's so many things that can go wrong and trying to figure out how to just ignore them is one of the challenges that I'm trying to work on right now. Um, it's so easy to let the one little thing get you down, right? In the middle of this pandemic and all these other things, it's so easy to focus on that one negative thing or the one thing that's missing or the one thing that's going wrong, how things could be better. And it's just not a really great way to live. I think I've been a little bit too pessimistic. I'm trying to improve. Anyway, all right, I'm down to one. Last set, here it comes. Notice the time, I finished at about 6.20, so 16.20. But watch how long it takes me to sit here and start. I'm like trying to motivate myself, trying to motivate myself. And it's like 17.10, right? I'm like 50 seconds of rest. And I only have one set left. I know I just gotta finish this last one. And I am so determined to not break these muscle ups. I'm just barely getting it over and I'm just fighting for all I can to get that last push. All right, now down to one, one set, 15 more wall balls. I'm tearing off those wrist straps, trying to get anything to breathe because you carry so much heat right there that releases through your wrists. Just trying to get extra air, uh, extra cooling, extra heat, uh, breath, anything I can. All right, getting there, getting close. You guys tell me, what are the things that you noticed that I could have done better? Uh, what are the things that I'm just completely oblivious to? I know that there's a lot of things I'm doing wrong, so be gentle, but I can take it. This is the best right here. Look at my face. I'm just drenched in sweat. <laughs> and you can see it on my face. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was really hard. I knew it was gonna be hard, but I didn't realize how much I would want to quit. Didn't give up. But I know I took way too many rest breaks. I partitioned those just like Josh Bridges did. I did five and 15 times 10 reps for 10 sets. So, guys, do hard things. See if you can find some kind of motivation. Do something new, something challenging. Try to fail. That's, that's my new motto for the next couple weeks. I'm gonna try to fail. Try so hard that it's almost impossible. So, anyway. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do more like this, let me know in the comments. If anything else, tell me what have you filled out lately and what was your lesson learned. We'll see you guys next time.